May you find happiness and peace. And may your home stand the test of time. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. Today I'll be reacting to Charlie Kirk Smash Radical Socialist Lecturer. So without further ado, let's get started. So um, my question to you is, we hear, we hear a big game from Turning Point USA and the right on how you want to reduce the size of government. When in fact, government under conservative leadership here the past, I don't know, eight, 10 years has not been reduced. And you still talk about increasing it. The wall, farm subsidies, I could go on. So my question to you is, what do you plan on doing to reduce the size of government? How do you plan on um, pressuring your elected officials to reduce the size of government when in fact, they're not doing it. They're only increasing it. Well, look, I mean, the, the, the Trump budget itself reduces government. It closes federal agencies and merges all of them. You know that there's been more federal workers that have left the federal bureaucracy than have been hired under the Trump presidency. Did you know that? No, I did not. So before you start I'd like to, to say- i see some numbers though. Okay, I just gave you a fact, so. We don't, we don't really have a chart or access to- Baseless. <laughs> Okay. okay. You can, you're entitled to your own opinion. You're not entitled to your own facts, but that's okay. okay. So under, under President Trump, every single budget he's submitted to Congress reduces the size of government. Under President Trump for 16 months, do you know that he signed a federal hiring freeze? Did you know that? He signed a hi federal hiring freeze, sure. which by definition shrinks government because over th thousands of people every single week retire out of the federal bureaucracy. So under President Trump, the federal bureaucracy has gotten significantly smaller. That, well, well, you're trying to push forward a $13 billion wall. That's socialism at its finest. You, you, farm subsidies. What? A wall is socialism? Farm, farm, Do you know what socialism farm subsidies? is? No, I believe in national security. The, the, the farm, I believe in defending our borders. That, I do believe in a military. What about the farm subsidies? Well, the Trump, the, the self-induced tariffs that, Wait, um, no, that are now you requiring bailouts? Can we bailouts? just slow down? Hold on, just slow down. Please explain to me how a wall is socialism, because that's, that's the craziest it's, definition it's, of socialism um, I've ever it's, heard. It's taxpayer funds going towards the good of society. Is police socialism? Absolutely. Police and fire protection, public schools, so all no, public is lands, it's all, all, it's all types so of socialism. So you believe all government is socialism? No, those are municipalities. Any, any, taxpayer, any taxpayer subsidy that's put towards the common good of society in whatever, in whatever context you think common good of society is, is a type of socialism. And everybody here uses those types of programs. You got public lands, public roads. I'm sure everybody in here likes to go shoot their guns on public lands. Well, well first of all, government you do, takes care of that. A couple interesting facts, though, because... A lot of public lands are actually paid for by hunting licenses. Therefore, the people that purchase the hunting licenses are the ones that are paying in. <laughs> secondly, secondly, the number one funder in the federal government that actually funds our transportation system is the federal gas tax. That's actually factored into your purchase of gasoline. So a lot of ways we have user taxes for the things that you're describing as socialism. So Which, the more you drive, the more you pay into it. The more you hunt, the more you pay into it. Now. To, to your interesting convoluted point that every layer of government is socialism goes directly against the author of socialism's treatise. Socialism is the public ownership of such industries. So Exactly. And you know what? Okay. Those, in, those include worker co-ops, which I'm sure everybody here shops at the community co-op, right? No. No. Well, if you do, if, well, if you do or, to, uh, or let me say this, town and country, who shops at town and country here? That is a worker co-op and it's a type of socialism. But it's all so voluntarily. The, hypocr so the hypocrisy so, here is well, it's pretty really overwhelming. So let me tell you, you know what's amazing about a capitalist system is you can voluntarily be in a co-op. So no one's forcing town and country to be in a co-op. So only in capitalism could you voluntarily put yourself in that sort of system. But if you don't want to be in a co-op, you should have the freedom to do that as well. What, what, what about the folks that are involved in capitalism that can't buy a home or that are being ripped off by the pharmaceutical companies and the healthcare industry? That's, not, that's capitalism, all right, and people are losing. You got, a, got something to say to that? Plenty. The hell, yeah, I know, actually a lot. Our, our people health are losing. Okay, but our, do you I, think I, you're losing? No, not necessarily. Well, so then who are you to speak for other people if you're not losing and you're benefiting? I'm not benefiting, benefiting from the ACA whatsoever. Well, the it's, ACA, it's, it's, it's killing me. The America, Obamacare, well, the same thing. That's socialism, bro. No, it's not. <laughs> Give me a minute. Actually, 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 the health, the ACA is a healthcare exchange where you can go on and buy insurance in the free market. A government created. It's a, it's, a website website. it's a website. It's a website. It's a government website where you can go it? buy where you can go buy different types of health insurance on the free market from private health care companies. How many taxes were in Obamacare? Twenty-eight new taxes. You still can't buy health insurance across state lines. 
hundreds and hundreds of pages of new regulation were part of Obamacare. It was 1,800 pages, and Nancy Pelosi said we have to pass it to find out what was in it. Who's it, making the profits on health care right now? Is it the government or is it private industry? Well, it's, private industry, yeah, right? Sure. Correct, but not if, you, not if you're a veteran, you go to the That's veterans That's not government regulated. Well, if you go to the vet, we have forms of socialized health care, and then the worst parts of our society and our culture. Medicare, and it works. Well, how about Medicaid? Medicaid doesn't work, and Medicare is deeply underfunded. Medicare has $60 billion of documented waste every single year, and Medicaid is health care for the poor. There's 62 million people on Medicaid in America right now, and the approval of people on Medicaid is sub-15%. Obamacare expanded Medicaid. It is a form of socialism. It doesn't work. This idea of Medicare for all is really Medicaid for all. It is not better health care for everyone. It's destroy our good health care system and give more free stuff for, to, for, to people for more votes and then destroy the medical advancements that are inherent in our current system right now. Is our health care system broken? Absolutely. It's broken because sure. government picks and chooses winners right now. And the ACA was nothing more than a pseudo-socialist bill that the insurance companies, the hospitals, and the drug companies lobbied for through the guise of trying to benefit people. But it was pseudo-socialism because it was government-created exchanges. 18,000 new IRS agents were hired under Obamacare, hundreds of pages of new regulation, 28 new taxes, including taxes under medical excise tax, the individual mandate tax, which literally forced people to buy health care if they didn't want it in our own generation. <laughs> uh, I think I, 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 lo I love that in part, you know, when you have been forced to buy what you don't want because maybe the government has stand a chance to benefit more from it. I think that is what happens in, in, in our part of you know the country. When you drive a car, you're forced to do insurance. And most of the time, when you go back to claim your insurance, you, you just can't claim it. It's like you're going to have to take them to court before you can claim your insurance. And I think Africa is the worst place to do insurance, especially when it comes to, um, let's see, I think maybe life insurance, you can claim it, but you have to like go through a lot, a whole lot before you even claim any insurance here. But anyway, this is this is really, really lovely. I love the, the debate. I love the fact that the lecturer was actually letting them know how he feels. And, you know, Charlie was not ready to back down. He has a whole lot of point to counter whatever you're bringing, you know, up for him. And uh, when they started talking about the private sector, like the hospital and stuff like that, I feel like um, I think what the government are doing is giving the um, what is it called this hospital higher opportunity, you know, to sell these drugs, because there are things that um, when government leave it for private individual, they are able to manage it very well, you know, because I feel government hands are so so are full, because they are running the affairs of the country. So sometimes they leave some certain things like okay, I think you can do this, so handle it. And the issue with that is um, this private individuals tend to control the price of how things have been sold because now they've given they've been given the rights to do whatever they want to do and health is something that we don't need to joke with you know because no matter how you try to um see no matter how you see yourself one day you definitely fall ill and when you fall ill you need this you know the insurance you know you need you need medicine so when when these hospitals or when they have been given the opportunity to detect heights highs everything is to be run you know, sometimes I feel like they don't do it well. Sometimes they don't really produce, you know, quality drugs. They don't produce what you need. They give you what they feel will make them rich. And I think that is that is what is killing a whole lot of people. Because you see the cost of dialysis now is increasing every day. And because of that, so many people are dying or so many people are rationing their drugs. And by doing this, you, you can't help yourself fight what you're going through. You know, because your immune system is becoming weak every day. And aside from that, you are you are, you are doing you are going through dialysis every day. You are, you are you are you are you are like trying to make yourself look good again. And I feel government should find a way to help these guys because I think the health sectors are ripping people off. That is that is my opinion of this. There, like because even in Africa, when it comes to health, it's like. People prefer to go to private hospital than government hospital because I think private hospitals have invested in their facilities. They have more facilities. They have more qualified doctors. When, when it comes to government hospitals, they just build, build, and after building the hospital, they let um, individuals handle the affairs of it. They don't really supervise what is really going on. That is why, uh, because these individuals, those um, facilities are not theirs. They are for the government, so they don't take care of it. And sometimes the government don't really, you know, allocate funds to these hospitals to keep on equipping themselves. You know, they just let the hospital decide or do what they want to do with what they have. And that's why people are people are really... Well, my point are pointing down to Africa because that is where I am and that is what I'm seeing. 
but anyway this is this is this is lovely i enjoy the dialogue and i really want to see more videos from them so if you have any recommendation let me know in the comment section it is your first time visiting the channel click on the subscribe button thanks for watching and remember this